just uh, start us with some uh, just opening thoughts on, on the game? Yeah, it's like extremely disappointing. I mean, I thought we had a we had a pretty good game. We battled hard. They're a good team, but it's just like extremely disappointing to go out like that. Um, had the game in our hands. We got to be better, and uh, we got to step up in those moments going forward. I mean, that, that's a very good team, and you were taking it to them for the first period. Uh, what can you say about that? Yeah, I think, like, they're a very good team, but we are too. When we're rolling, when we're confident and have the puck in our hands, I think we're playing great hockey. Like, there is no surprise to me that we were dominating them like that because um, we were playing good hockey, but lots of momentum sw swings throughout the game, and we just need to handle that better. Has that been a problem, bearing the good teams this year? You had your chance and couldn't quite do it. Has that been an issue this year? Uh, I would say it's been an issue because I think that we've – beating a lot of good teams this year, uh, but this weekend I would say uh, that was the case. What's the what's the mood now? Do you just feel you, you just almost got to win out now to make playoffs, or what? What's the mood? Yeah, for sure. I think uh, I mean really either way, uh, win or lose that game, I think we got to just keep winning, focus on our next series of Meiji, and continue to win throughout the WCHA tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Try to focus on the positives. What were some other positives? Uh, I think we had all three lines rolling this weekend. It was super awesome to see some players step up. Uh, our freshman cast that now played unbelievable this weekend. Uh, and I think the high those players step up gives us huge confidence going into next weekend. Uh, Maddie set the record for all time minutes for a goalie at UMD. Uh, were you aware of that? What can you say about her? Yeah, I didn't know that, but um, no surprise. <laughs> she is unbelievable. She's the best goalie I've ever played against, uh, like played against in practice and played with in games. Um, she's a legend and really just an unbelievable teammate too. Can you take us through your two goals? The one you had, like, sort of, I don't even know what kind of angle you call that, and then you had five goals. Just take us through those goals what you saw on them. Yeah, I honestly don't even <laughs> fully remember those plays. I just uh, have been wanting, I wanted to get flex on net and cross my fingers that they go in. So uh, I just shot everything um, as much as I could in that third period and a couple went in, so it was nice. You know, what's the mood and the, how do you like three on three? And obviously that was a very skilled goal that she had. Yeah. Yeah, the, I mean, we have done super well on three on three. That's the first game we haven't taken in three on three, so I think we were super confident going in. Uh, but you got to hand it to uh, Watts, that was a pretty sweet goal. What do you take going forward? You know, you play Bemidji now next weekend, you just put five goals on the number two team in the nation. What are you looking for? What do you take from this game going into yeah. the playoffs? We just need to take the positives. Um, we battled hard, we played great um, during moments of that game. So I think just taking that and really moving forward into the most important weekend of the year. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Sid. Thanks. Coach, can you just start us with some general thoughts on the game? Yeah, I mean, that's about as well as we've played all year for 58 minutes. Put five goals up on Wisconsin. I thought we played great hockey in the first and the third especially. Really possessed the puck. Controlled play. Uh, found the back of the net. Converted on the power play, held them off on the kill. Pretty complete game up until uh, the final minutes there. So that's it's a disappointing tie for sure because we uh, we had that game well in hand. Uh, would you say that first period might be the best period you played all year, almost? I know it's funny. I just said that Friday night about our first period. Uh, I, potentially, I'd have to watch it again. Yeah, and even strength. You're taking it to them. You're yeah. out shooting them. That's right, 11 to 2 or something after yeah. the first. Yep, it's great. It, it's bearing teams, the good teams, uh, how hard is that to do and has that been an issue this year? Bear, what was that? When you got that lead, you had your chance to bury them and you, yeah. and you didn't. Yeah. And you didn't. So has that been an issue at all this year? Well, yeah, I would say so. When we got up, uh, we went up 2 0 in the second, right, and let them come right back 2 2. Um, but our Friday night experience was good for this because we did a little bit of that on, on Friday night as well. So we made some adjustments. I thought the way we played in the third was much improved from Friday night's third where we uh, 
handled the momentum that they had. We came back, we got the lead, we got a two goal lead. Um, so I, I think we did take it to them and do what we were supposed to do offensively. Um, the issue was a leaky defense in the end when they went, you know, six on four, bad penalty by us to put them in that spot, and then six on five, and that's, that's the story there. Yeah, the penalty, yeah, at the end of the regular, that was, that was a backbreaker, wasn't it? It was. It's wrenching, but do you remember a game where you given up two in the last minute like that? I mean, it happens a lot where somebody pulls the goal and gets one. I know. No, I don't I know. Can't. I don't know. Uh, what's this mean for NCAA playoffs? Uh, you pretty much got to win out here, or what's the mentality? Yeah, I think we knew that even before today's game. You know, we've been sitting in ninth in the pairwise. It's tough to move at this point. Um, wins against quality teams like Wisconsin would certainly help. But I think, you know, once we lost on Friday night, we knew we were going to have to win out. So that doesn't change. I think um, the confidence that we get, the things that we can take from this game is really, you know, our offense was great. Five goals against this team. I'm not sure if they've given up five this year. Um, and uh, I think, you know, those moments, however painful they are right now, will make us better in the end because we're going to be in those spots again. We're going to have a lead against a good team. and. Next time, we're probably staring the end of our season in, in its face, you know? And so we're going to be more composed. We're going to understand what we need to do and not have the mental errors. And I think it's it's confidence, you know? It's actually believing that, you know, we were the better team today uh, for large parts of Friday. And in those moments, that's what it comes down to is just playing with some confidence, knowing that you can get it done and, uh, you know, winding that clock down. So. Painful today, but it'll make us better in the stretch here. How frustrating, because you see them, sometimes they're the best team in the country sometimes. Yeah. If you could just do that all the time, right? Yeah, no, it's good. I think uh, we certainly rise to the, the occasion. So we played some of our best hockey against Wisconsin, who I think is the best team in the country. Um, and so it's a, it, it bodes well heading into playoff hockey, right? You're going to face great competition, but Midgey's going to be good next weekend. So will rise to the occasion again. and It's the right time to be playing our best hockey. Uh, so, Can you talk about, like, on Friday night, you know, their first line kind of neutralized your first line tonight. That did not happen. You guys, your first line, like, exploded in the third period and really just carried you guys yeah. offensively. What's the difference? What kind of happened there? Well, Sid Broad is the difference. Uh, she throws her uh, the team on her back, and, and when there's a will, there's a way, and she, she is the example of it, and I think um, – Klein's goal to go up 5-3 should be really what we're talking about. It should have ended there with a 5-3 win. That was absolutely as clutch of a goal as I've seen. Um, what a bullet, what a play. That's everything. So you've got Sid leading with the passion that she plays with and just a will, like that goal you were asking her about. How did that go in, you know? She just willed that thing right, right off her stick and right between Campbell's legs. Kleiner plays the same way. Everybody feeds off of Sid, and she goes down and stabs in a beautiful goal. Um, so I don't want to take anything away from what they were able to do as a, as a line and as our offense. I think it was a really good game offensively. Maura, if, if you go back and you're looking for adjustments that you need to make against the Badgers, you obviously you need to hopefully see again in a couple weeks. Yeah. Is it a lot easier to say, okay, we have to make adjustments defensively as opposed to, wow, we couldn't put get shots on, we couldn't put the puck in the net, we couldn't yeah. solve Campbell? Is it easier to make defensive adjustments than having to rethink things offensively? Yeah, certainly. And, and we made a lot of adjustments from Friday to Sunday, and I think that showed up in the way we played, and uh, we'll just continue to do that. Yeah, and I mean, their goals were nice goals, but we gave up too many passing lanes and maybe chase pucks where we should have just stayed at home. Um, so certainly fixable, which is encouraging.